This is my Yashica Electro 35 GT, the black one. Such an awesome camera. I bought this from the original owner, an older gentleman, about eight years ago. I paid 200 bucks for it, Canadian, and it came with all the extras. I love this camera, and this is one of the cameras that got me right into shooting film. Let's take a look at it and all the extras that came with it. Okay, let's take a look at this cool camera. So this is the stuff I got from him back in the day. I guess it was probably about eight years ago. Um, the Yashica camera came with the original case. Here it is. Pop the back. It's got some nice padding up top here. So that works. Um, to get that piece off, you just flip it over, slide it up, and it pops out. There's the half case. To get the half case off, just unscrew the bottom. And there it is. It also came with this filter. It's an old uh, Vivitar 55mm skylight filter. Let's pop that off. So there's a the camera, and I love it. It's a beauty. It also came with uh, a metal lens hood. Um, this kit here, it's got a viewfinder and two uh, lens adapters. One wide angle and one telephoto. It's got the Yashica Pro 50DX flash. We'll go into that in a second as well. It came, it came with both manuals. Came with a cool battery adapter. I'll show you that too soon. And the Yashica close-up macro filter or adapter, I guess you'd call it. Anyway, let's take a look at this stuff. I was going to do an in-depth uh, in-depth review of the camera and show you all the working components and parts and how it works, but there's a lot of videos out there already, so I'm not going to I don't want to duplicate any of those. Um, you can just search that on YouTube. I will touch on some of the other stuff though that that you need to know if you're putting the lens adapters on, um, the aperture settings and so on. But here's the camera, and it's very minty. It's in very good shape, and let's dive in. Okay, let's take a look here at the metal lens hood. So the lens on this guy is a 45 millimeter, and it's an f1.7, so it's a pretty fast lens. Here's a leather case. I don't know if it's leatherette. I th I th it looks like real leather to me. And there is the, I hope this is focusing, the Yashica. It says made in Japan there, and there's a little screw down. Uh, there's a, that's the lens hood. So that just pops on right over top of the lens. Can't go anywhere. There's an inner lip, so it can't go further. Once it's once it's once it's on, just give that a little cinch up, and that's it. Done. Done deal. There's the metal lens hood. Okay, let's take a look at the close-up filter. This guy here. It's a nice leather case. It's a bit of a beast. So this is called the auto up, or um, I don't know. I call it it's a macro lens, but it's basically a magnifier. How this guy works is, same thing as the lens hood, fits over top of the lens, um, and you just cinch it down with this retaining screw. It's also threaded so you can put filters on this. So what's going on here, because this is a rangefinder, um, you know, you're not looking through the lens like on your SLR, so whatever this is doing, you want to see what it's doing in, in the viewfinder as well, so they're both magnified. Um, so it's kind of cool. So supposedly you can, this is from 80 centimeters down to 45 centimeters away. It says it right there. Although I get, or it seems to me that I get about 12 inches. So that's less than 45 centimeters. So that's it. And that's kind of a cool beast of a thing. All right, let's take a look at the, hopefully that's focusing. Let's take a look at the flash. All right, so here's the flash. It comes with a power cord, which is kind of awesome. Uh, so this is your AC power cord, and it just plugs in here. There's your AC-DC switch on the back. There's your test. Um, and this is also 240 volt or 120 volt. There's the switch there. And once this guy's mounted, you can move it around so it doesn't have to be straight up and down. You can go sideways. Um, here's, where your, here's your battery compartment but it also contains your flash sync cord. Because this is a cold shoe, it doesn't communicate with the flash, so you have to plug this guy in. And the plug, oops, is right there. So you would mount this flash, and you would plug in the flash sync cord right there. And again, it's built into the flash, so that's kind of cool. 
otherwise it takes three AA batteries, 1.5 volt. All right. Okay, let's take a look at these two um, lens adapters. Uh, I'll get in closer in a little bit here and uh, we'll take a, a closer look and with more detail. Here's the case, and again it's like a leatherette case. Came with its full instructions right here, which we'll look at. And there are your two lenses. There's a wide angle and a telephoto. Pretty cool. And they're just big honking lenses. And these guys actually screw right on like a filter would into the lens. But again, I'll get close on these so you can see what they're about and how they work. It also comes with a viewfinder because you're not going to see what these are seeing through the viewfinder. So you'd mount this on the cold shoe and it's got lines in it for the wide angle and the telephoto. Okay, let's get, uh, let's get in close on this. Let's take a closer look at these lens adapters. These things are pretty cool. So the non-detachable lens on the Yashica is a 45 millimeter 1.7, 1.7. So that's a pretty fast lens. Um, and if you put these guys on, here's the telephoto. The telephoto lens is changes it into a 58 millimeter, 58.4 millimeter. Um, lens instead of the 45. So what it also does is it changes the aperture, the minimum aperture from f1.7 to f4 and it just screws on just like a filter, lens filter. What's kind of funky about this and kind of weird um, is it doesn't focus like a normal camera obviously it's a rangefinder so when you're looking through the range the rangefinder you're not seeing this this unit on here. So to get it in focus, what you have to do is, and hopefully your subject's not running around, and this is for both lenses, let's say you're focused and it's got a distance scale on it, which is awesome. I really love a distance scale on it. It's like a Leica lens. Um, you set it and it's got meters up top and feet on the bottom. So here we have, it shows, my. let's say my subject is at 10 feet away and it's in focus, everything's good. Um, I know that it's not f1.7, so I've got to compensate for light. Uh, SF14, but I look on the scale here, the distance scale, and for 10 feet, it's actually you want to pull it back to 7 feet to be in focus. So that means it shows 10 feet in white and this orange letter 7. So that means I would have to bring it back to 7 feet with this focus ring to be in focus. Strange? Yes but it's the rangefinder deal. So that's it there. So again, if you could probably memorize this pretty quickly or get it close enough. And if you step it down, stop it down to, you know, F8, F11, you know, you're gonna, the depth of field is getting shallower, so you're not, it's not gonna be such a problem. But anyway, that's it. These guys also take filters, um, and I believe they're 72 millimeter threads. So it's pretty cool, heavy duty. So that's the telephoto. And that's a wide angle. So the wide angle brings your 45mm Yashica lens to 37.7. And again, it's got, uh, it's the same thread uh, for filters. Kind of cool. Nice packaging. Got the original instructions as well. And it's uh, Japanese in the back. Here is the, here is your viewfinder. And I don't know if you can see the, the, the lines. Probably not but I'll show you what it looks like. That's it there. Hopefully you can see it. Sorry, the light's awful. That's it there. So the wide angle obviously is the bigger rectangle and then the telephoto, you would keep your subject within that rectangle. Pretty cool. Anyway, this thing also came with the uh, Yashica Quick Light Pro 50DX flash manual and the Electro 35 GT original manual. I also have a cool battery um, adapter um, and this this is from who is this from again? Oh the yashica.guy.com take a look at his stuff and you can put a, a pretty much a regular battery in here instead of looking for the old vintage stuff. Anyway there's a quick lowdown on this guy here again there's lots of tutorials on how to use it it's a very cool camera I love it and this is one I'm not gonna ever get rid of this and my Leica. Thanks for watching.
JMW out.